All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Hunter Collins and in today's video, I'm gonna be sighting in my new red dot. I've had it for a little bit now, but I decided to permanently keep it on my gun because I think it fits well on a 5.56 and I enjoy it. So let's go ahead and sight it in. All right guys, so Elliot and I, I got Elliot with me. We have two targets set up. That one's, what would you say, about 15 yards from us maybe? 20. That one's closer to 10. And then, well, when we back up, it'll be more like 15. That one's closer to 25. Yeah, so, and we don't really have, we have ways to sight this in, but it should be pretty close. I don't use a red dot too often. So, and it's basically just for fun. I'm not trying to get killer accuracy out of this right at this point in my life. It's purely just basically a fun gun for me. I just like, just enjoy shooting this and having the red dot on it. So we're gonna shoot it a few times and see if I can hit the target. And then maybe if it is sighted in, maybe we'll let Elliot shoot it a few times and see if he can hit the target. So let's get to shooting. All right guys, let's see if I can hit this target at all. All right, now we're gonna shoot the one that's about 10 yards too tall. See how we did. Uh, I wasn't looking at you. Let's see how we did. It's one dead tree. So I did. It, it turned out to pretty much still be on because I shot it before and it's just a red dot. But for me, I'm happy with that because, like I said, this is just absolutely. It's just for fun. I just want to be able, like, to hit, ring some steel or something, or take it out to like maybe 50 yards or so and be able to hit something, maybe even 100. But it's kind of a long shot because as you can see as you can see the dot uh, when you get when you get far away to a target it makes the dot really really big compared to the target like even at that distance of 25 yards it wasn't bad with just the dot but once you get out to like 50 70 yards or more it's going to be kind of hard to see the target so that's what makes it challenging but I just like it it's quick it's easy to look at and it makes it really easy to just pull up and fire a few times. So that's what I'm looking for out of my 556, and that's why I like this red dot. So let's hop over and check out the other target. All right, guys, so here's the other target, the official 50-foot junior target. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, Elliot has uh, hit it every time, too. Not quite as accurate with this one, but I felt like I was pulling a little more when I shot this. But, I mean, it's a... Most of my shots were low at 15, 20 yards, so. That's one dead tree right there. But whatever I was shooting at would be dead, so. I'm not gonna mess with like sighting it in anymore, especially not today. Like I keep saying, it's for fun. It's, I just enjoy having a red dot on it and I'm not worried about being deadly accurate with it. So I think we're just gonna shoot it a few more times, have some fun with it and pretty much call it a day. All right, guys, since Elliot has 7 million subscribers on YouTube and he's gun famous, let's see if he can actually, what happens when we put him on the spot and see if he can actually shoot? Let's find out. I didn't hit anything. You don't think so? Heck no. Did it look okay? It looked fine. Look decent for, uh, for a twenty dollar scope. Oh yeah. You know what you should do, Elliot. You should do a review on that scope so the viewers could see what it actually is. I didn't hit that thing at all. Okay, well, I guess we won't plug Elliot's review. He does not have one of this. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, Dave! I was pulling. You can see on the side of the tree where I hit it. You understand now why people comment negative things on your gun videos? I understand now why people comment negative things in my gun videos. None of them hit the target. Dave! Dang it, Dave. Oh, wow. I digress. It's Hunter's bad sighting in. That's what it is. Oh, yeah, you hit a few. It's not bad. No. I saw one go off in, like, in the dirt over there where I shot the side of it. That's not bad, though. No, not bad at all. Hmm. Oh well. It's fun. That's the point of it. Definitely the point of it. And we're getting better with it. Okay. We gotta shoot it more often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Alright guys, so that's pretty much been it for this video. I know there wasn't a lot to it, but I just wanted to get out here. I wanted to shoot this thing, make sure it was sighted in, because like I said, I plan on leaving this on my 5.56 right now, just because I enjoy it a lot. I really like just the ability to just pick up the red dot and just shoot it without having to you know, look to a scope, find the target as much. It's just a lot more fun, and that's what this gun is to me. I have other guns that I hunt with, so this this is not, you know, for that reason. This is just purely for shooting. So I like it for that. If you're interested in what red dot I use, I don't know the exact, you know, we can't find this one really. I bought it at Cabela's for like 20 bucks, but I will link down below a lot of ones that are like this. This is just a relatively cheap one if you're just getting into shooting and you just want to learn about red dots or try them out for the first time. I'll also link Elliot below so you can go follow, subscribe to him. And he has a review video on this currently that's already out. So I'll make sure to link that as well in case you want to learn more about the specifics of it and stuff like that. But I think that's going to wrap up for this video. Make sure you guys go out, go shoot a little bit, have some fun outdoors. But that's going to do it for me. As always, take someone outdoors. Oh.